Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, is a comprehensive network management tool that simplifies the management of Cisco business level networks. It provides a wide range of features to help monitor, manage, and optimize your network infrastructure. Once you've decided to get CBD set up to work for you, you'll need to choose a platform to run it. It can be a physical server, cloud-based, or a virtual machine on your computer. An installation guide for each platform can be found on the CBD support page, which is linked in the description. If you have a Windows computer running Windows 10 or Windows 11, Pro, Enterprise, or Education Editions, you likely have Hyper-V, a virtual machine, pre-installed. No matter what platform you select, be sure to have a DHCP server properly configured within the environment where the Cisco Business Dashboard is deployed. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to deploy the Cisco Business Dashboard using a Windows computer and Hyper-V. Next. I have a Windows 11 computer, so Hyper-V is pre-installed. So instead of following the installation guide, I just need to activate Hyper-V on my system. To do this, search for Windows Features in the search bar, locate Hyper-V, and enable it. Confirm your selection by clicking OK. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer to apply the changes. After restart, open the Hyper-V Manager application. On the Support page under Quick Resources, click Download. Locate All Languages Virtual Machine Image for Hyper-V. The latest version should be downloaded. At the time of filming, that was version 2.8.1. After downloading the file, create a dedicated folder for it. I've named mine Cisco Business Dashboard. Move the downloaded file into this folder and extract its contents using a decompression tool like WinZip or 7-Zip. Ensure you extract both the virtual machines and the virtual hard disk folders into your Cisco Business Dashboard directory. Return to the Hyper-V Manager and select Import Virtual Machine. Follow the prompts. Navigate to your Cisco Business Dashboard folder containing the virtual machine image when asked and proceed with the steps. Then, register the virtual machine with the existing unique ID and confirm that your network connection is set to the default switch. Finalize the process by clicking Finish. You should now see the Cisco Business Dashboard virtual machine in your Hyper-V Manager. The next step is to configure a virtual network switch that will be used by the CBD virtual machine. Access the Virtual Switch Manager within Hyper-V Manager and create a new external virtual switch. This connects your virtual machine to the physical network. Assign a name to your switch. Make sure the connection type is selected as an external network and it's linked to the correct network adapter. Click OK to confirm and then Yes. Apply this newly created virtual switch to your CBD virtual machine. To do this, Right-click on the virtual machine, select Settings, and choose the Network Adapter section to select your new virtual switch. Click OK. Great, the connection is made. It's time to start your CBD virtual machine. Right-click, select Connect, and then Start. It will begin to boot. Log in using the default credentials of Cisco for both username and password using lowercase letters. Promptly change your password to something more secure. Once you're logged in, make a note of the IP address for the administrative web user interface. This was assigned by DHCP. After setup is complete, you may want to change this to a static IP address for consistent network management. Now that the virtual machine is up and running, that brings us to the end of part one. Click the link for part two to complete the Cisco Business Dashboard setup. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.